What's up everyone? Ron Garrett here. I'm gonna do a little simple uh I guess tutorial in order to get Elder Scrolls Arena to run on DOSBox. At least run relatively okay. Uh mileage may vary for you. But this is pretty much what I did. First, you want to go to Google and you want to search and download for DOSBox. It's pr pretty simple. Just type DOSBox in the Google and go to the actual website, download that, install that. Just say just yes, 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 install. I read it all the rules and stuff that. And then you want to go search up Elder Scrolls Arena and go to the official website for that. It's, all this is in my description. Download that, just install wherever it wants to install on its own, which will probably be your C drive arena. And we have all that set up. When it, then you can boot up DOSBox. I'm using version 0.74 right now. And this should pop up. And as you notice, if you notice, it starts out with Z colon slash forward slash, or no, that's backslash, uh, as a starting thing. What The first thing you want to do is you want to go mount, oh, hold on, you want to type mount C mount space C space C colon uh, backslash arena because that's where it would normally default to if you install the arena and it says that that is now your drive C is mounted as your local directory C colon forward slash backslash arena backslash now you want to type C colon and this pop up now when you do that you can type type arena dot bat so you can run it if you type just arena I don't think it'll work or it might yeah you can just type arena and it'll run but if you notice as we go through this yes yes I should have a save game just for demonstration purposes now if you notice it's running super super slow now in order to fix that what you want to look at or oh, hold on let me let me just drop the DOS box yeah drop the DOS rather uh, what you want to look at is that cycles the cycles you see it has 3000 cycles frame rate skip or frame skip zero program DOS box in order to fix that, let's. Uh, you want to hold control and you will press. Make sure you're. Make sure your uh, your F lock is on, so it actually works. And you want to type hold control and press F12, and that will increase your cycles. And you want to run uh, about somewhere between 20. I would just go ahead and run arena again. You want to run somewhere between 20 to 25 cycles. Any more than that, it's a little overkill. Uh, it might actually make the run game make the run make the game run so fast that it's kind of awkward and runs way more than way more than it should. See now, as you can see, it runs fairly smooth. If you increase it more. Then it'll run a little bit smoother, but if you make it run like I don't know, it'll run too fast, then you get stuttering again. So if you want to slow it down, I believe it's yeah. You want to hold Control and press F11, and it'll slow it down. 30 frames, it runs fairly smooth. Although at some point, I think it would actually get to the point to where it's uh, moving faster than you can actually control. And the sound might be a little weird. That popping is a result from that, from too many of those files. Hey, round shield. Yeah, I got a fist. Hold on, let's... All that slow, that sound you hear... That's mainly because the cycles are moving so fast that the sound isn't able to catch up. So if you lower it just a little bit more. 
Should be. Combat. Yeah, see? Runs pretty smooth. No real issues. And that was real simple. Real easy. Drop the DOS box. And I right, drop the DOS. Exit. And there you go. That is a simple tutorial to get Arena to run on your computer with no problem. Now, with that said, let's go ahead and exit out of this. Now all that messing with, finding all the perfect cycles, notice the cycles reset. They're back at 3000, so every time you have to press, you have to do the little cycle thing, which isn't, you know, so bad. It's not that bad. So, but I want to go ahead and show you uh, how to edit your, if you want that to stick, you go to find your DOSBox uh, comp file, which is, if you're on Windows 7 64-bit, I don't know if 32-bit's the same, it will be right here. And this is hidden, so you gotta make sure you show files. And this is where you're using it. Make sure you back up that DOSBox doesn't matter where you put the backup just make sure you have an extra copy so if you mess this one up you can just revert back to its original state now you want that to stick because you don't want to edit that every single time and there's a lot of nifty, nifty stuff in here you can have full screen to be always true so if you set this to true every time it boots up it'll go to full screen then you just press escape and it'll go to or I think it was enter or something like that I think it's alt uh, enter and you can do that full double I'm not quite sure what that means so let's just ignore it for now uh, should should point up right here what a full double is I don't know but I know full resolution I'm not full resolution Windows outsource right, this output right here surface if you want to record the game you have to change this from surface well record it with fraps you want to change this from surface to I believe it's OpenGL. I think you. I think you can also use uh, something else. But I know you, if you switch it to OpenGL, it should work. I don't know if direct. If uh, you can use direct or D draw. D draw is one. I know. If you like switch it to D draw. You should be able to record it with fraps. I don't know what auto lock is. Some of this stuff, you know, don't mess with it unless you absolutely know what it does. Wait on error. That's true. Because if, if it's on false, then it just cr it just closes. It does an error, and you don't really know what happened. Uh, but yeah, what I was saying earlier. You want to find? No, don't mess with any of that. You especially don't want to mess with the mem size because it says rare amount of memory DOS box has a megabyte. This value is best left at its default to avoid problems with some games, though a few games might require a higher value. There's generally no speed advantage when raising this value. So don't mess with the mem size unless the game calls for it. But my little tutorial is explicitly for both uh, pretty much for the Elder Scrolls stuff. Because that's really the only stuff I've been messing with. Now, what you want to find is these cycles. And instead of it saying auto, you want to put it like somewhere between, I don't know, let's say, let's say 22,500. And it's a little weird when I try to save it. No, I guess not. I guess it's fine. Now let's, uh, let's boot up DOSBox and see if that fixes. Yeah, see. And the cycles are what you set it as. Now let's, uh, let's, whoops. Oh yeah, I gotta mount all that stuff first. Mount C, C colon slash arena, then C, then arena. There we go. Now it's running at those frames, or those cycles that we chose. Just kind of mess with it until you find just the perfect amount of cycles for you. Going too fast, you start getting sound clipping and stuff like that. And you don't want that. Hey, I got a short bow. Let's use a bow. I don't even know what kind of character I made. This is just a random person. It's a bard. So, 
Just use a bow. And yeah, and then there you go. Playing arena and a matter of however long this video is. I don't even know how long I was recording this for. Yeah, this is still a little sound problem. That's more the that's more the game than anything. You could probably go under sound change some sound blaster stuff. I don't want to mess with that. That's the sound isn't that big a deal. But hopefully you learn something in these ten minutes. Because that's the whole reason I even bothered to do this. So now everyone go out and play more arena. Because it's a great game. This is Rongarin Rongarin signing off, I guess. Bye.